Welcome back to <laughs> Sister Summer Live. Oh my God. Our next guest might be responsible for why a lot of us are here. His soulful songs like Cause I Love You and So Very Hard to Go were the soundtrack to the love stories of our lives growing up. Please welcome the ultimate soul crooner, yes. Lenny Williams. Oh, 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 oh. Yes. Yes. yes, yes, yes. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> just saying. I'm just, cause I, here's the thing, the other day I was just listening to your music on the rooftop. I mean, it was a whole set up there. I had a, a, a nice glass of scotch and then I had a, a, a cigar and I was just living my best life. Mm -hmm. I was, and I listened to your music. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I grew up on your music actually. Um, what is it like to have your music transcend through so yes. many generations? Yes. How does that feel? It's, it's, it's humbling, you know. Sometimes yeah. I go to shows, we do festivals, and uh, you'll see, when well, I'm 73, so I'll see people my age group and a little older, uh -huh. and then I'll see their children, and then I'll see their grandchildren and their great-grandchildren, and wow. they're out, everybody knows the song. They Word, all know yes. the words, right? Yeah, so it's just like, wow, it's just uh, so humbling to think that I could sit in my living room with my friend and we write that song and that it would last so long and that people yes. would, you know, that it would, you know, people would just love it so much. Yes, yeah. yes, Lalini, yes. you have had such an impact on R&B music over all of these years. You've been such a, a huge influence, especially as an R&B artist, I can say that firsthand. What do you attribute your staying power to, mm. though? Well, I think good songs, you know, I mean, mm -hmm. I think that's the lifeblood of the, the music industry is good songs. And then, uh, you know, then the performances, you know, when you perform and you're able to uh, to express, you know, the, the lyrics and mm -hmm. the emotion of the song, then I think that it, it, people just take it to heart. Mm -hmm. How do you think sampling has extended you as well? I mean, I love sampling, you mm -hmm. know. Uh, uh, well, I think because it makes the music classic. Yes. Mm -hmm. A lot of times people say, well, rappers, you know, they're not uh, creative because they sample. And I say, well, I, I know friends who've gone to Juilliard yeah, or gone to Berklee yeah. School of Music. I when agree. they come out, they'll go and take some Bach or mm -hmm. Beethoven and do their mm -hmm. version of it. So yes. I think that rap, you know, if you take a Smokey Robinson song and you do your version of it, then you extend the music and make it make it classic. Get creative, and then yeah. uh, I love it because uh, if you take care of the, mu if you, yes, the music business, if you take care of the business, it's another check. Yeah, it's another check. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, yeah, uh, 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 yeah. Ongoing check. Yeah, most definitely. Yeah. And so with Cause I Love You, uh, uh, Kanye West and uh, yeah. Twister, they sampled mm -hmm. it. And uh, I think uh, they did it in 80 something. Yeah. And between them, between the time that they put that out and now, I probably made at least a million bucks. Wow. Uh, yeah. That sample, I'll try to tell you that, that publisher. And you show. just sit up and you just chill and mm -hmm. bring in the checks come to your mailbox. Hello, mailbox. somebody. And my wife said that's my favorite thing to do is go to the mailbox. Go to the <laughs> mailbox. <laughs> <laughs> that's a lady after my very own heart yes, she is. Uh, yes. Well, I got to talk to you a little bit about the music of today versus the music of your years when mm -hmm. you got into the business. You're from Little Rock, Arkansas. Mm -hmm. You went over to the Bay Area, created this amazing sound. Why do you think, it, it seems like to me when I listen to the music, music like uh, Al Green, uh, the OJs, mm -hmm. yourself, it had so much love and yes. feeling and respect Ooh, and emotion respect. for a woman. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Why do you think we've lost that in today's music? Mm. Well, I think that we have, um, we don't have romance as much as we had, you know, back mm -hmm. in the day. Mm -hmm. you, know, uh, you know, you, you could, I, I've had girlfriends that, uh, I never kissed, you know. Wow. You but know? you wow. felt something. Yeah, cool. right. I mean, you know, I mean, sometimes I'll see somebody in my, I say, "Well, this be my girlfriend," and my wife's like, "You know," and I'm like, "Yeah, but well, we were together for about three weeks, but I, we just kind of held hands, you know." Right. So she was kind of right. like a little girlfriend. But I don't, I think now, you know, it's just kind of instantaneous. You know, you just yeah. meet somebody and you know, bam, you know, it's it's on. You know, you're in the charged. bedroom, right? Yeah, yeah right. Uh -huh. And so I think that you lose, uh, you know, the the romantic part of. Uh, of uh, you know, and you, and when, so you can't write about what yeah, you don't you know. Do. Yeah. Oh, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Now, I, um, as an artist, what I, I just did an album called "The Rebirth of Soul," where mm -hmm. I used all live instrumentation, and I, I realized that it was it it caused that deeper connection. Mm -hmm. Do you think that artists now should? Um, put more um, live uh, instrumentation in their music. Do you think that that would help the connection to their lyrics? I'm not really sure. You know, I mean, I. I I mean, I don't want to stand in the way of technology. I mean, technology has uh, allowed people that could never make a record before to be able to make it. I mean, you can mm -hmm. just literally do it on an iPhone, mm -hmm. you know, and so uh, so I don't want to get in the way of technology. But I mean, I think it's good to, to expand. You yeah. know, if, mm -hmm. if you were a boxer, you know, if all you had was a jab, 
you know, you're not going to go with that far. Oh, but, no, you know, you got, you got a hook shots. and a right hand right. and body <laughs> shots and yeah. all that. You know, yeah. I mean, so it, it, to help more in your arsenal, I think, is, is good. Yeah, mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. but, but technology is something that, you know, we, we just can't stand we in the way of it. Right. Yeah, mm -hmm. can't run from it. Yeah. Well, Lenny, you have a new single, Fine. Yes. yes uh -huh. fine. You see, all, and there's a lot of fine yeah. that's coming yeah. through yeah. the circle. You see how we're set up real nice here the circle. I love the circle. Yes, right, yes. Mm -hmm. I really love the circle. I know that's right. But listen, so how are you taking your new music and you are crossing over to the millennials? What are you doing? Well, I guess the first thing I have to do is kind of align myself with somebody that's young. Uh huh. And so I've been working with Levi Caesar, yes. who, who played with Prince uh, and uh, worked with Prince for about 12 years. And so he's got a younger perspective than yes. I have. And so between you know merging and collaborating, uh, I think we've come up with something that's uh, really nice and something that uh, I think that the millennials will like as well as my traditional fans. Yeah, yeah. awesome, awesome. Well, Lenny, we are, first of all, it's an honor to it have sure you is. down to yeah. the mm -hmm. circle. Yes. And we thank you so much for being with us. Yeah. Um, if you want to look out for Lenny's single, fine.